Reddit. What is the best example of damn? My parents were right from your childhood? I grew up with four brothers. Five boys total. Oldest born in 1987. Youngest in 1994. So we were all close enough in age to fight and hate each other. My mom always told us. As we bled and cried. That one day we would be best friends. She was dead on. Obviously. I'm 25 now and they're truly my favorite people and we talk all the time. Lift with your legs. Not your back. Always bend your knees. My dad had an accident at work with lifting a fridge. He's a delivery driver. Which resulted in a pulled nerve. My dad is typically super mellow. But that day he came home he was in no mood for anybody's crap. They kept telling me that I should start saving up for a car as soon as I could because the nicer car I get initially better the condition of the car. The less money I'll have to put into it later. An exploded head gasket and disintegrated brake pad later, both separate incidents, I realized that they were totally right. Edit. Damn guys it's pretty obvious what I meant. Close bracket. When I used to be bothered by bully types at school, not necessarily myself being picked on but just the nature and cruelty of children sometimes, my mom used to say, you don't know what their home life is like. This used to annoy me to no end. I knew she wasn't excusing their behavior but it was still difficult to care if they were suffering in other ways. I went on to get my psychology degree and although I'm not going into counseling I learned how much an environment can really shape a person. A perspective that allows me to be empathetic and happier as a direct result. I was bullied in middle school by two boys. They didn't single me out. They preyed on everyone. Turns out their mothers had died of cancer. By high school they were both very kind. Well adjusted people. One of them was in my psychology class and talked about going to a therapist to help him deal with his grief. I saw both of those boys in a completely different way after that. Don't touch that. It's hot. You'll burn yourself. When my kid starts playing with fire hot things. I'm going to let them burn themselves because it was the best way I learned myself. When my first child was able to walk and was tall enough to reach up and touch the stove. We were constantly telling him not to because he'd hurt himself. Was complaining about it to my mom one day and she said. They have to burn to learn. I was furious with her. Thought it was the shittiest parenting cop out I'd ever heard. Time goes by. Kid constantly reaching up. Me constantly telling him not to. No effect. Then one day it happened. Kid reaches up. Both hands. And taps 8 fingertips on a hot gas stove. Turned out mom was right. Kid never ever touched the stove again and better. When his little brother came along. He constantly tried to warn him away from the stove too. Girls love guys that can play the piano. Double quote. It was forced down my throat. And I was good. But I was sick and tired of playing stupid music from music books. That I've never heard of. The only concert I've ever been to was the Beach Boys. Other than my grad school shows, which we all know are lame. Comma this was before I even liked girls. I feel if I was taken to concerts where there were pianists. Then I'd see what the goal was. Instead of forcing an instrument down my child's throat. I'll show them the coolness of it first. And music they may be interested in. Or the potential before just saying no. Sit down and read these notes. Double quote. Ding. Dong. Blong. Dong dong dong. Wah. I hate this. I was becoming friends with a kid in elementary school. I went over to his house to play one day and my dad picked me up. When he met the parents he wasn't exactly impressed. The next weekend he called and asked I I could spend the night. I was pretty excited since he was one of the cool kids. But when I asked my dad he said no. He said since the adults were using profanity. And getting drunk around kids it wasn't a fit environment for me. I was so mad at him and cried for days. I had to call up my friend in between tears and tell him I had already had plans. From there on out I had to come up with bullshit excuses until he finally got the message. I gotta say my pops pulled a clutch move that day. My friend ended up not graduating high school. Having a kid at 17. 
and now deals drugs to make money. I'm at a good state university and got a 4.0 last semester. Goes I show what good parenting can do. When I was 16, I was helping my dad fix his car in the garage. Which meant I was holding the light for him while he worked. He was sipping on a Bacardi and Coke and started talking about youth. He stated you always feel the same as you do when you are 16. You just start making better decisions. I thought to myself. Yeah right old man. He was 36 at the time. And damned if he wasn't right. That high school won't matter even one year after graduating. I thought high school was IT man. I thought that was my only chance at friends and a social life. God was I wrong. I have a completely different life now. I rarely ever think about high school. I thought my parents just didn't understand but nope they totally were right. Work as hard as you can. Figure out how to make other people's work easier for them. Make sure they always see sweat on your brow. You'll never say I have too many friends. Don't get married till you are at least. 25 stroke 30 plus keeps going up. You will keep changing who you are. Do something with computers and finance. I think that's going to be big. When I was a kid. I used to love making lists of and memorizing NBA statistics. My dad told me I should consider a career as a statistician. I told him to back off and not try to suppress my dreams of playing in the NBA. I'm 30 now and never even came close to playing professional basketball. I really wish I had worked towards being a statistician. My dad was right. That would have been my dream job. Honestly. It would have to be my mom's advice about relationships after my first girlfriend and I broke up. At the time it feels like the worst thing ever. Because you're a hormonal teenager. And you feel like you'll never feel the same way about anyone else. But eventually you realize that you were wrong and that broken hearts are just part of life sometimes. When I was in high school I had a pretty loose collar from my folks. Asking them about this. After hearing how strict some of my friends parents were. My mother's response. I'd rather you screw up now. Under our roof. Than screw up when you are on your own. Double quote. Got. I wish I could go back to having the parent umbrella. They were right about pretty much everything. But of course you have to make mistakes and learn all of those things yourself before you believe them. Brush your teeth. Homework and school is important. Stay fit. Be hygienic. All things that felt like annoying BS at the time start to make sense when you start to become responsible for yourself and have to cover your own expenses. Father imprinted this in my subconscious. Do not expect rewards or congratulations for succeeding in what you have to do. Succeeding is what is expected of you and it is the least you have to do. Instead. Expect to be butchered for your every failure. Double quote. I used to be told to stop reading horror and ghost stories. They told me it was morbid and I would become obsessed with death and grim stuff. Well. Now I'm almost finished with my mortuary science degree. So I guess they were right. But seriously. The best example would be that I needed to learn how to cook. My mom would always try to get me to help her make dinner because I would need to know how and one day she wouldn't be here. But I had better stuff to do. Like watch TV or read morbid stuff. When she died. I found out she was right. It sucks. I wish I had spent that time with her. Okay so I need help. My dad and I don't get along very well and he has recently turned off my cell phone. He says he'll turn it back on when I am willing to use Life 360 which is a tracking device. Living without a phone sucks. But I am 17. A straight A student. Have a very good high school job. And a great chance of playing a D1 sport. I feel that this tracking software is childish and unnecessary. Like I said I am 17 I'm almost an adult. I feel entitled to a little more freedom. And anytime he asks where I am I text back almost immediately. Someone. Anyone please help guide me in the right direction. It's not necessarily so he can track your every move, although I don't know him. My siblings and I, all adults living on our own, have trackers in our phones in case something goes wrong. 
My sister doesn't answer the phone. We get worried. We can just look up a location. The biggest reason is the nightmare scenario where you have to report a missing person that you love. And think Jesus. I don't know where she is. Or even a place to start looking. Double quote. From my perspective as an adult. It's probably because you're older and will be roaming farther from home. This way he can allow you your freedom, to an extent, and not go insane with worry. Anecdote. I was on a camping trip with friends and we managed to get really fucking lost. Called my brother who looked up my location. And he gave us directions, after calling us all idiots. When I was a kid I remember my mom would take a nap once or twice a day. Of course trying to get me to take a nap as well. I would always refuse. No I'm not tired blah blah blah. She would reply with. Just you wait. When you get older you're going to wish you had time to take naps. Double quote. I love naps now. It was a cop from a Christmas story but you'll shoot your eye out. I was given a BB gun as a Christmas present. So everyone who has had a pump BB gun has pumped the shit out of that sucker in order to put that extra oomph into the following shot. So I decided to go for broke and pump it up 40 times and then take aim at one of the barbed wire posts that kept our Scottish Highlanders in. I am laying prone. Gun pumped up, overcharged aching for release. And I pull the trigger and push. That BB fucking rocketed out of the nozzle of the gun and hits exactly where I was aiming except now I see the fucking BB ricochet off of the post at an angle. And heads directly for me. As I stare down this raging silver BB coming directly for me literally all I could think of was losing my fucking Ayala a Christmas story. Before I could react. It flies towards me and hits me on the upper ridge of my eye socket and bounces out. It hurt like a son of a bitch. But a centimeter lower and I may have lost vision in my left eye. After that I decided to respect the power of the BB gun. Don't let any girl stress you out that's not your wife. I'm sorry. You have cancer. Double quote. PFF. You're not my wife. What do I care? Double quote. When they told me not to quit on my engineering degree. My parents were both database analysts since the 70s. And when I was younger they wanted me to go into engineering. Software engineering. If at all possible. And for a while. I liked that idea. Taking AP computer science in high school. Twice. Once for C++ and once for Java. And considering going to college and majoring in aerospace engineering. Well. Then I took AP physics. And my world changed. Physics was my new love. And I sent a no thanks letter to the university I had been accepted to for aerospace engineering. To force my parents to sign the form saying I could attend this other university I had been accepted to for physics. Yeah. There was a lot of fighting and drama during those months. But they gradually accepted things once they saw I was doing really well in physics. They saw that it made me happy. And supported me even though they disapproved of my decision. For which I am eternally grateful. Next week, I'll be defending my dissertation for my PhD in theoretical physics. The culmination of 10 years of college. And guess what? There are no jobs in theoretical physics. The only positions in this field involve hundreds of highly accomplished postdocs fighting each other to secure one of at most 5 open professor positions each year. Fuck that shit, physics is great. But I'm not willing to spend my 30s bouncing from postdoc appointment to postdoc appointment and applying to professor positions in vain. So. A couple months ago. I realized that all the coding I had done for my undergrad and grad physics research actually made me halfway decent at writing software. And what's more. I like that part of my research a lot. I applied to various companies. And was lucky enough to get a software engineering position at a great place in my home city. Unfortunately. I've played right into my parents hands. Because that's exactly what they wanted all along. Ah. Uh, I used to make fun of my mom for always recommending a hot bath for whatever was ailing me. Headache? Hot bath. Sore? Hot bath. Congested? Hot bath. It looked like an obsession to me when I was a kid. She was totally right. Though. A hot bath is great for just about everything. Third degree burns? Get in the hot bath. 